SA520 analytical procedures. Analytical procedures can be used either as substantive procedures or as procedures near the end of the audit. When we use analytical procedures as substantive procedures, the objective is to obtain relevant and reliable audit evidence. Whereas when we use analytical procedures near the end of audit, the objective is to determine whether the financial statements are consistent with the auditor's understanding of the entity. Again, the auditor's understanding of the entity is a kind of profession depends upon the auditor's professional judgment. It depends upon auditor's past experience with the entity depends upon auditor's knowledge about the industry in which to which the entity belongs. Now let's try to understand analytical procedures with the help of examples. Analytical procedures include first consideration of comparisons of the entity's financial information with the comparable information for prior period. Example schedule 3 what we use while preparing our statutory audit report. Comparison of entity's financial information with anticipated results. Example budget. Comparison of entity's financial information with similar industry information. Example competitor. We can also take example of industry standards. Second, analytical procedures include consideration of relationships. Now, relationships can be between two financial informations or between financial information and relevant non-financial information. Example of relationship between two financial information is gross margin or you can say gross profit ratio. Now this gross margin is also an example of analytical procedure used as procedure near the end of the audit. Here we have example of relationship between financial information and relevant non-financial information that is payroll cost to number of employees. Now let's move to the requirements part. When designing and performing substantive analytical procedure. Now this relates to the first part of the objective. We are using analytical procedures as substantive procedure. So what we need to consider. The auditor shall first determine the suitability of particular substantive analytical procedure. Now whether a particular substantive analytical procedure is suitable or not depends upon assessed risk of material misstatement and whether we have used the analytical procedure in combination with test of details or it is being used alone. Second point. Second point we have to evaluate the reliability of data. The data which is being used for calculating an amount through analytical procedure. Okay. For evaluating the reliability of data, what all things we need to consider? We need to consider the source from where the data has been captured. Uh, when the data has been taken from independent source, it is more reliable then when the data has been taken from dependent sources reliability of data also we need to take into consideration comparability for example say there is an entity which produces and sells similar products like the entity we are auditing so we need to take the data of that entity instead of taking the data of whole industry while evaluating the reliability of data, third thing we need to take into account is nature and relevance of information. Budget established as results to be expected is more reliable than budget established as goals to be achieved. The fourth thing we need to take into account while evaluating the reliability of data is controls over preparation.
when the data has been prepared there must be proper controls over preparation third point develop an expectation of recorded amount or ratio and evaluate whether the expectation is sufficiently precise here we need to develop an expectation using analytical procedure say for example prior period amount plus an expected growth rate the expected growth rate used is an analytical procedure again the recorded amounts expectation which we are developing must be sufficiently precise fourth point determine the amount of any difference that is acceptable say expected amount is 4 lakhs and 10% is the x 10% is the amount of difference which is acceptable without further investigation so if the recorded amount is between 4 lakh 40 to 3 lakh 60 we won't investigate into it if the recorded amount is above 4 lakh 40 or below 3 lakh 60 we will investigate into it uh, let's repeat the example here we need to determine an amount of difference of recorded amount and the expected value that is acceptable without further investigation for example we develop an expected uh, value of 4 lakhs if the recorded amount is between 4 lakh 40000 and 3 lakh 60000 we won't investigate into it we won't investigate into the difference because the difference is uh, within 10% deviation if the recorded amount is more than 4 lakh 40 or say less than 3 lakh 60 we will investigate into it okay here we end up with the first part of objective now this is second part of the objective analytical procedure that assess when forming an overall conclusion now when we use analytical procedure near the end of the audit we need to check whether the financial statements are consistent with the auditor's understanding of the entity this is a uh, kind of repetitive investigating results of analytical procedure if analytical procedure performed in accordance with standard identified fluctuation that are inconsistent with the relevant of information or that differ from the expected value by a significant amount if the difference is not significant then it would be covered under point 4 that we discussed above uh, that is acceptable without further investigation but if the difference is greater than an amount which is acceptable then we need to investigate into it how we need to do this by inquiring management and obtaining audit evidence relevant to management response first we need to inquire of management why is uh, there are so much difference and we need to obtain audit evidence relevant to management's responses and we need to perform other audit procedures as necessary in the circumstances so now let's revise the standard quickly analytical procedures analytical procedures can be used as substantive procedures and as procedures near the end of the audit objective when we use analytical procedures as substantive we need to obtain relevant and reliable audit evidence while when we use analytical procedures as procedure near the end of the audit we need to check whether the financial statement are consistent with the auditor's understanding of the entity okay now we then saw examples analytical procedures include comparison entity's financial information with prior periods uh, example schedule 3 entity's financial information with anticipated results say example budget entities financial information with similar industry information say competitors information consideration of relationship example gross margin uh, this is an example of analytical procedure near the end of the audit 
then we saw relationship between example of relationship between financial information and non financial information that is payroll to number of employees in requirements when designing and performing substantive analytic procedure auditor shall determine the suitability now the suitability of a uh, particular substantive analytical procedure depends upon two things first the assessed risk of material misstatement and whether we have performed test of details in combination with analytical procedures or not second point the reliability uh, while evaluating the reliability of data what things we need to take into consideration first thing we need to take into consideration is the source is it from independent source or dependent second the comparability we saw example of industry versus specific entity third nature and relevance here we saw example of goals versus uh, budget prepared from expectation point of view then fourth thing we need to take in account this controls over preparation third point we need to develop an expectation amount expectation of recorded amount that should be sufficiently precise fourth we need to determine the amount of difference in which case which is acceptable without further investigation we took the example of 10% analytical procedure this was an repetition now if the difference is uh, not acceptable then we need to investigate into it how we need to do this first we need to inquire of management then we need to obtain audit evidence relevant to management responses and finally we need to perform other audit procedures as necessary in the circumstances